hello guys welcome back to my channel so in today's video we are going to see how you can get different page animations in flutter without using any package okay so as you can see here in our app inside the body i have three buttons one two and three these three buttons takes us to the second screen as you can see here second screen okay and they all have the same default transition like this so how you can get different transitions so let's start with our first example so inside our on press in our material button what i will do is i will simply remove our material page route okay and so for the different animations what you need to do is you need to use another widget called page route builder you can see as a page route builder okay so inside the page route builder what you can do as you can see here it takes in two animations and a build of a context okay so first we'll write context our animation and let's say our secondary animation okay so this is like this and what we'll do is we'll return our second screen which is this okay so here you can return your second screen so there are other parameters such as transition duration reverse durations which are used mostly so as you can see i'll use our transition duration let's give some duration to it okay so i'll add const and for milliseconds uh, let's just say 800 milliseconds so we can see properly our animation and we'll keep our reverse duration default okay so now for the custom transition what you can do is write transition builder like this okay so now as you can see here it takes in build context to animations and a widget okay so let's write our context Okay, so this is our context this will be our animation this will be our secondary animation and this will be our child okay so and will what we can do is we can return let's say we want to give a fade transition okay so what we can do is we can simply write our animation that is this opacity takes in the value of animation so we'll provide our this animation value okay so this is our animation and for the child we'll provide our child like this okay so let's save our app so now as you can see when i will press our first example you can see we have this a fade transition to our second screen so this is our example first with a, a fade transition to our second screen similarly we have other two examples so let's check them out what i will do is i'll simply copy over this page dot builder okay so, and in the on press of our second example what i will do is i will simply replace our material page route with our page route builder okay and for the different animations what you can do is you can simply change it here we'll remove the fade transition okay and the another is let's say a slide transition that is what we want okay so as you can see i'll simply uh, okay i'll remove the position and you can see it also takes in an animation of offset okay offset okay so what we can do is we can simply go and we'll declare a final let's say a slide animation okay slide animation will be our twin and it begins with 
offset okay so it takes in the x axis and y axis okay so for x axis i'll write one and for y axis i'll write zero and to end i'll write as offset both will be the zero as we want to show the full page that we want okay and you can write this like dot animate and the parent will be our animation like this okay so now for the position what i can do is i will give our slide animation okay and for the child we'll give our child let's just save our app and now when i'll click on the example 2 as you can see we have this slide transition animation to our second screen it slides from x like this x axis as we have given here x so let's change it to zero and let's make our y axis so it will have a different slide animation so let's go back and let's press again we can see now we have a different slide animation so why you need to give this zero zero because if you give like for example a 0 0.5 let's say okay and now let's just press you can see it just came half so to show it full you need to give it zero zero okay so let's give it a zero so this will be our slide animation okay so what we can do is for our third example i'll again change this our material page route to our page route builder like this and in, we'll change our fade transition animation to different animation which is scale transition like this okay so for the scale transition animation as you can see here it takes in a scale let's give it a scale first and it takes the animation of type double okay so what we can do is we can if you don't want anything you can simply provide our default any animation like this and give it a child as a child okay so let's just save our app and when i'll click on our example 3 you can see we have our this scale transition effect for our page route builder okay so we have this page route builder so we can customize it how you can customize it is you can write a final let's say a curve equal to curved animation you can give a curve animation as well and the parent will be our animation like this okay and for the curves we can write any curves let's say curves bounce out okay let's just save this and what we can do is we'll simply replace our animation to our curve okay let's just save our app and now once when you click on our example 3 you can see we have our different animation scale animation with a bouncing curve out so like this okay so these are our three examples of how you can get different page transition animations in flutter without using any package so hope you found this video helpful do like share subscribe to my channel and see you in the next video